At a certain point, you'll probably want to upgrade to an eBay store. I have another video about what stores are at the simplest level, and another one coming up soon about how to do the math and decide what store level to get. In the meantime, let's explore what the store levels are. There are five levels of eBay stores. Starter, Basic, Premium, Anchor, and Enterprise. If you're already ready for a $3,000 a month enterprise store, I hope you're not watching this video, but instead you're off doing whatever major eBay moguls do. So I'm not going to talk a lot about that level. That leaves us with four levels. No matter which one you choose, you pay its subscription cost monthly. If you commit to a year, you get a discount. So if you're pretty certain you'll be eBaying away merrily for the next 12 months, I'd recommend selecting the yearly commitment. You'll still, however, be billed monthly. That said, if you do want to cancel your yearly subscription early, you'll be charged an early termination fee. It's graduated by the type of store you have and how many months are left on your contract, but these fees aren't insignificant, so if you're unsure, try out the monthly plan for a while. You can switch to the yearly version when you're ready. They'll even prorate your bill for the month in which you upgrade. You can also upgrade from one store level to a higher level at any time without penalty. As of May 2020, here are the costs for the store levels. A starter store is $7.95 a month if you commit to the monthly schedule and $4.95 a month yearly. A basic store is $27.95 monthly, $21.95 yearly. A premium store, $74.95 monthly, $59.95 yearly. And an anchor store is $399.95 if you're committed only to monthly and $349.95 if you've committed to yearly. For each of these levels, you get a certain number of listings with no insertion fees. If you don't have a store at all, you get 50 listings with no insertion fees. These can be fixed price or auction listings. With a starter store, you similarly get 100 no insertion fee listings, which can be fixed price or auction style. With a basic store, you get 250 fixed and 250 auction. Premium, 1,000 fixed, 500 auction and Anchor, 10,000 fixed, and 1,000 auction. Here's some fun minutia about those free insertion fee listings. <laughs> Having a store doesn't affect any selling limits you may have on your account. If you have a selling limit of 10 items, you can only list 10 items, even if you subscribe to a store with 1,000 free listings. When your fixed price listings automatically renew once a month, they count towards your free insertion fee listing. So if you have a subscription, for example, for a premium store and you get a thousand items listed, when they renew, they'll eat up all your free listings. Anything new you list will get charged a listing fee. You might want to think of free listings and listing fees as per month. If you manually relist an item, it also counts. If you list an item and then end it early, it still counts. You can't use free listing fee listings for some categories, including real estate, boats, cars, trucks, motorcycles, other vehicles and trailers, power sports, heavy equipment, food trucks, other trailers and carts, and commercial printing presses. For your free insertion fee auction listings, you can only list in the following categories. Antiques, art, clothing, shoes, accessories, coins and paper, money, collectibles, dolls and bears, entertainment, memorabilia, health and beauty, jewelry and watches, pottery and glass, sports memorabilia, stamps, and toys and hobbies. On top of all this, having a store also gives you a discount on the listing fee beyond the limit of your free listings. And of course, that discount varies depending on the store level. For starter stores, you'll pay 30 cents per listing for auction or fixed listings above your free allotment. For basic, you'll pay 25 cents per listing for auction or fixed price. For premium, you'll pay 15 cents for auctions and 10 cents for fixed price. And for anchor stores, you'll pay 10 cents for auctions and 5 cents for fixed price. 
As is eBay's way, guitars and basses don't get charged insertion fees, no matter what store level you have. Similarly, if you list any sneakers that cost more than $100, there is no insertion fee for those either. There are different final value fees and different fee caps for starter stores versus the other three levels or four levels of stores. All final value fee percentages are computed from the cost of the item plus the shipping cost to the buyer. For starter stores, almost everything has a 10% final value fee, and the cap on those is $750. Books, DVDs, and movies are 12%, but also capped at $750. Heavy equipment, commercial printing presses, and food trucks, trailers, and carts are only 2% and capped at $300. Guitars and basses are 3.5% capped at $350, and sneakers over $100 have no final value fee. For basic, premium, anchor, and enterprise stores, the most common rate is 9.15%, but there are some exceptions. Books, DVDs, and movies are 12%. Camera, photo, cell phone, computer, consumer electronics, and most audio stuff are 6.15%. And various other particular categories are higher or lower than 9.15, but none go over 12%. You can see the whole list by searching help on eBay for store selling fees. For most store levels, you also get a coupon for free eBay shipping supplies once a quarter. You don't get one for a starter store, but for the basic store, you get $25. For the premium store, $50, and for the anchor store, $150. I'll talk about how to get your free shipping supplies in another video. So that's how the store levels work, and... Unless you're committed to keeping your store small, you'll probably want to work your way up the chain as you grow, getting more benefits as you go. I'll make the graphics from this presentation available as a download with the link below in the comments. Thanks and take care.